This video contains how are we going to determine a rational function, rational equation, and rational inequalities. Before we proceed to our discussion, balikan muna natin ang rational expression. So by definition, an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. Ibig sabihin, para lang siyang fraction pero it contains polynomials on its numerator and denominator. So para di tayo malito, let us define what is a polynomial expression. Polynomials are algebraic expressions with non-negative integer powers and no variables in the denominator. Ibig sabihin, ang makikita lang dapat natin na exponent ay mga positive whole numbers. At saka wala tayong makikita na variable sa denominator. So, let's have an example. So, x, 2x cubed, and x raised to 4, they are all examples of polynomial expressions. While the following x raised to negative 6, square root of 2x, and x raised to 1 third, those are not examples of polynomial expressions. So, that is because ito may negative tying exponent. Ito naman naka square root siya when we get the exponential form that is 1 half. So, hindi whole number ang magiging exponent. So, same as with this one. Hindi integer ang kanyang exponent. So, let's try this one. Determine whether the following is a rational expression or not. Number 1, x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x plus 4. Yes, that is a rational expression. How about number 2? 1 over 3x raised to 2. Yes, that is also a rational expression. Then for number 3, x squared plus 4x minus 3 divided by 2, that is also a rational expression. For number 4, we have a square root of x plus 1 all over x cubed minus 1. So that is not an example of a rational expression. That is because, as you can see, the numerator natin, it contains a square root. And then for number 5, we have x raised to 3 over 4 divided by x minus 2. So this one is not an example of rational expression. That is because our numerator does not contain a, does not contain a polynomial expression. Now, let's have the definition of these three. Rational equation, rational inequality, and a rational function. So, rational equation, of course, that is an equation involving a rational expression. So, since equation siya, we are going to solve for the value of x that will satisfy our equation. So, for example, we have 2 over x minus 3 over 2x is equal to 1 over 5. So, for this one, we use the equal sign. For rational inequality, that is an inequality involving rational expressions. So, for this one, we use the relational symbols like greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Kung sa rational equation, we are going to solve for the value of x that will satisfy the equation. This time, for rational inequality, we are going to solve for the set of values of x. Hindi lang isang value ang ating hinahanap. Lahat ng possible values ng x. So, for rational function, that is a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are both polynomials. And q of x should not be equal to a zero function. So, it is denoted by the symbol f of x at saka y. So, ang kaibahan nito sa so dalawang nauna no, is that a function expresses relationship between two variables. So, that's why for this one, ang hinahanap natin ay domain and range. So, it can also be represented through tables and graphs. So, on this part, let us try to determine whether the given is a rational function, equation, or inequality. So, for number 1, we have y is equal to 5x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So, this one is a function. Okay, for number 2, we have 8 over x minus 8 is equal to x over 2x minus 1. So, this one is an equation also. 
So for number 3, we have x plus 3 over 2 is equal to 4. This one is also an equation. Then for number 4, we have x minus 1 all over x plus 1 is equal to x cubed. This one is also an equation. And number 5, we have y is equal to 7x cubed minus 4x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 3. So it is represented by y. So this one is a function. Then for number 6, we have 6x minus 5 over x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So please take note, it uses a relational symbol greater than or equal to. So this one is a rational inequality. So that's all for this video. How are you going to determine a rational equation, rational inequality, and a rational function?